been another great period here, Murph. Face-off win. That'll do it. Five seconds remaining. The last touch will go to Springer. Springer off the glass. Done and dusted. The 3 in victory for the Cardiff Devils. Batch, Reed, and Waller, the goal scorers. Good performance from Matt Carruth, his first league shutout. It's early on Sunday morning and the Cardiff Devils are already preparing for tonight's game. Other, other side, other side, yeah. While it's still early in the season, the pressure is on for the team. With a new coach in Jared Scaldi, he'll be expected to continue the winning tradition the team have had for the last few years. The Devils are in sixth place right now. For Coach Scaldi, he'll hope that an early morning skate will translate into a good start to the game. I think our start is going to be critical. Um, you know, we had a hard-fought battle in preseason up in their building well over a month back. But, uh, you know, they're a team that works hard every night, and we just have to be ready for that work ethic. And uh, we, we, we can't outskill teams. We have to go out and compete and work for and fight for every inch of the ice. After a loss to the Nottingham Panthers last weekend, tonight it's the Manchester Storm. In recent games, the Devils have been without one of their brightest prospects, 23-year-old Sam Duggan. I'm mic'd up today. Yeah, and I, don't, I, I feel like I, I can't say anything because people are going to think like I'm fucking... As an alternate captain, he's been trusted with a leadership role at a young age, and his return from injury couldn't come any sooner. Yeah, it's, it's probably the worst thing you can go through as, a, as an athlete is... Uh, is sitting on the sidelines watching watching the teammates go to battle every every night and uh, just just every day. I think you're you're with the guys every day um, in the room uh, rehabbing and, and and stuff like that. But uh, it's not the same when you're not on the ice and uh, and and like I said, competing with with your with your teammates. So very tough time. I I don't deal with it well. Um, I struggle with with that side of it when I've had uh, some injuries in the past and uh, this one was was no more enjoyable. So uh, yeah, it's a very tough thing to go through. Drag around the world. Fucking Russia. It's just pure excitement to get back with the guys and uh, see the fans again, play in front of a, a packed out arena. It's uh, it, it, there's nothing like it. So um, that that was what was on my mind coming into to, to my return was, was just getting in front, back of the, uh, in front of the fans again and uh, putting on a good performance. Manchester head into the contest in fourth spot with back-to-back -back wins against the Dundee Stars and Belfast Giants, but their last visit to Cardiff was in pre-season where the Devils hammered an 8-1 victory. So for Storm coach Ryan Finity, he knows a tough test awaits his side. Yeah, the, the goal is now, you know, is to take it on the big ice and, and replicate the same way and play the same way with the same urgency against, again, a very good team that, that didn't play today that'll, you know, that'll be a lot more rested than, than us coming on the back of, uh, you know, be our third game in four nights. So, you know, we got we to gotta find the legs, get make sure we get uh, well fed and well rested today and then um, enjoy this tonight and, and wake up tomorrow and be ready to go. With the morning skate wrapped up, the players head home and the staff prepare the ice for puck drop in just a few hours' time. Both teams arrive, it's now time to get ready. Each player prepares in a different way. Whether it's habit or superstition, preparation is key to feeling ready for when the game begins. I like to get there about two and a half hours before the game. Uh, we'll have a, a team meeting um, and go from there really. Tape your sticks, make sure your, all your equipment's good, your laces, everything. Uh, and then probably about 35, 40 minutes before warm up. Uh, have a bit of a dynamic stretch, get the blood going and, and get ready from there. As the doors open, the team prepare for warm-up, a last chance for players like tonight's starting goalie Matt Carruth to go through his unique pre-game routine. 
obviously it's just like any any job or business like you have your routines that get you ready in the morning and I have one throughout the whole day like obviously the fans see the one that's on the ice and that's been the same for pretty much my whole pro career maybe a few kinks here and there but uh, for the most part it's the same and just gets my mind ready to go and my body ready to go as well. Warm up over, some last words from the coach and then the pre-game ritual of announcing the starting lineup. First shift, second shift, third shift, we just roll them over here and we don't fucking dip our toe, we fucking jump right in and get right after here. Then you oh, oh, oh baby. Right, left side, strong side. We got Wallet. Oh, right side, stronger side. We got Rita. Oh. Down the cup, we got Dicko. A storm coming indeed. The Cardiff Devils hosting the Manchester Storm live and exclusive from Ice Arena Wales. The Premier Sports Elite League coverage continues now. With player introductions made, there's just one thing left to do. Get the game underway. Devils hosting the Storm. Premier Sport Elite League action from Ice Arena Wales. Dixon will dig in against Adam Brady. Dixon will win the draw. Right up. Right through, right through. Speed, speed. That's it. That's it. Drive him, drive him, Coxie. The Devils look to take control early, but it's the physical side of ice hockey that would create the first talking point. It's his fifth season in Cardiff, and Mark Lewis has long been known for his fighting. He doesn't disappoint the crowd with an early fight in this game. Speaking of battlers, it's Lewis and Springer. We talked about Springer off the top. He's not afraid to mix it up. And Mark Lewis, one of the toughest guys in the league. Lewis trying to throw a couple of left hands. And while it takes three officials to try and break this up, I'm not sure that was the smartest decision by the linesman to get in there. As Lewis was still trying to throw some punches there, the last thing you want. It's not the first time that Mark Lewis and Lyndon Springer have fought. The two have a long history against each other in this league, and it wouldn't surprise anyone if it wasn't the last time. After the fight, the first period would go by without further incident. For Sam Duggan, though, it was a good chance to get back in the rhythm of the game. I always try and, and, and get involved physically pretty early, uh, just for, for my own game. It, it helps, helps you get into the game and uh, definitely in a, in a situation like that where you're coming back from an injury, you want to make sure you, you make an impact right away. Um, and uh, yeah, just having that, that kind of excited energy helps with that too. Uh, coming into the game, you want to you get into the game early and uh, I felt, felt I did that well. With the team scoreless after 20 minutes, it's time for a tactical adjustment. Breakout again. They are looking for both sides. Okay, so they are looking to stretch both guys. He just wants to step out, bomb it, look for some speed through here. So again, F1. Let's be tight. Let's start on the forehand side. If that's a lefty there, so we just can't take one step and bomb it. Anyway, he goes. Let's make sure we get a stick in there. If he comes to this side, let's put a little more pressure on. Try to disrupt that long bomb of a pass. With the changes understood, a more successful period awaits the Devils. So far, Dixon will start things off. Fucking right, there you go, Dicko. Manchester go close. Sometimes when you lose a face off, you've got to do things to find something positive. And good job there. Here comes Brady. Brady to Hamilton. Hamilton off the post. Well, he had beaten Carruth, but not the iron. Lovely play by Brady and nearly finished off by Hamilton. And then the Devils hit right back. Waller to Reed. Reed with the shot blocked perfectly there. But, but neither can break the deadlock until now. Very well, you're right. He's not the biggest at 5'11", but he certainly understands the game well. Here's Cox. Swings out wide to Crandall. Crandall to Batch. Batch has plenty of numbers in front. Batch in the shot, score! <laughs> Defenseman Josh Batch may be more known for his defensive work, but tonight it's his shot getting things going for his team. Yeah, it was good. Obviously, the first period was um, Quite, quite close, they defended well, um, really collapsed around the net well. Um, yeah, so it was good to uh, help out offensively and get that first goal just to uh, get, get the boys rolling. 
Crandall had the puck on the half wall, he made a nice little saucer pass through to me um, and I had a lot of space so I uh, kind of stepped into one and hoped for the best and I think there was a, a double screen on the goal so I don't think he really had, to, had a good look at it and uh, squeezed it by him. With one on the board the Devils waste no time getting back to work. Batch again involved, clears the puck and that sends the Devils the other way and they make no mistake. His way, Batch chops at it and uses his strength to get it ahead to Cox. Two on one, shorthanded. Cox and one, and one score! Josh Waller! Shorthanded goal! Cardiff! It's Waller's second league goal of the season and it was spectacular! The Devils are in the driving seat, leading 2 0, heading into the final period. 20 minutes here, focus on the defense. Back, 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 putts out, putts in, and keep putting that fucking pressure on. Keep moving that puck up, keep transitioning quickly, keep driving. Good things off bench here. We don't fucking put the, take the pedal off the gas here, okay? We fucking keep going here. Let's go. Good job. Here they come to the third and final time tonight. Make some noise for your Cardiff Devils! With 20 minutes remaining, the Devils look to close out the game for the two points. It was a cagey start, the Devils not wanting to make any mistakes, the Storm hungry to find an answer. Sam Duggan breaks through on net, but he can't find a shot to mark his return with a goal. Wins the puck back to Duggan. Duggan tries a little cut in. He's headed off of the pass by Earhart. Valdix backs him up. Duggan with a good hit. Eventually, though, the Devils would tack on their third. Heading into the game, nobody in the league had scored more than Brody Reed, and he showed everyone why. Dixon down the left wing, drops it back to Register. Register swings it out wide. Redirected from by Cox. Reed scores! The ninth goal of the year for Brody Reed would be decisive. Neither side could find the back of the net again, and the Devils secured two points to climb the standings in a 3 0 win. Josh Batch takes home man of the match, but in the locker room, the team awards their signature helmet to their very own player of the game. I think it started with one of our players who now plays with Sheffield, Evan Mosier. It was something like a Burger King hat, and he took it to the next level and bought an actual helmet. And uh, from there, the tradition kind of started, and whoever has it from the game prior kind of picks someone they think deserves, deserves a helmet for that game, and um, it kind of only happens after we win, obviously, but... That's kind of a good fun little tradition we have going now and it's uh, something that's yeah, it's just fun and kind of helps someone who maybe didn't get mad at the match, it kind of gives them some recognition as well just in the room so I think it's good just from that perspective as well. Hey, a lot of good games and uh, I think obviously Batch, he goes above his pay grade there. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> What do you mean? See, like, it's a great getting a man of the match, but I'm not really sure who picks those. And um, man of the match sometimes can just be for someone who kind of gets, does something that's like noticeable, like a goal or something. But uh, the helmet can go to someone who's kind of maybe an unsung hero. So, um, and like you say, it's picked by a teammate as well. So it's another, another thing that kind of means quite a lot when you get it, even though it's not something that's really publicly known. Holy! Snap it. Ooh, saucy. So you're making me nervous, man. How is that rash? Yeah, there it is. I know, I don't shower, I don't brush my teeth in the morning, you know that. Listen, I heard you, I saw you talking to him. And then you skate up to me with a look in your eye like that. I know what's coming.
you're on the mic too now, so you can't say anything bad to me. <laughs>